that's what you would actually have at the commercial theater if you went in the Atmos theater. Um, that processor is able to uh, encode uh, or decode up to 64 discrete channels. So a little bit more than what you're getting with the consumer version. The, uh, the output of the CP850 is going into our uh, SDEC 4500, which is an EQ, room correction, crossover, does bass management. Um, it's doing the active crossovers for the bi front speakers. Digitally? Is this digitally or analog? It is digitally. It's all digital. Obviously. On the Cat5? On a single Cat5. The Cat5, um, our uh, transport supports up to 128 channels on a single Cat5. It's a daisy chain between the EQ and the amplifiers. Uh, the amplifiers themselves have the digital input and uh, we can have up to 60 amplifiers and uh, 128 discrete channels on that single Cat5 bus. Is it Blue Link or AES64? It's Blue Link. Okay. Um, which is uh, also what Dolby's using for their CP850, uh, which is great for us. The, uh, the configuration <coughs> here is 39 discrete channels. We've got uh, six pairs of sides and six pairs of overheads and then four across the rear. They're all discrete. In the uh, corners, we've got uh, a pair of 15-inch passive subwoofers in each corner, so there's eight total subwoofers, and they're set up as four individual uh, signals. We do that so that we can control the subwoofer base frequencies and get the least seat-to-seat -seat variation. What that means is between any two different seats, there's only about 2 dB of base variation between 20 and 80 hertz which means every seat is a, is a good seat. There's no bad seat in the house. Uh, the front speakers are actively biamped, and um, they're using our JBL M2 uh, studio monitors, which are reference studio monitors. And uh, we've got uh, 1,200 watts by two on the center channel, 600 watts by two on the left and right, and there's a total of about 19,000 watts running this room. Um, We've got a 17-foot screen research uh, woven screen and a uh, digital projection D-Cinema server. So this is a commercial version of the server. All the content you're going to see is the commercial pro version of, uh, of, the, of the clips, which means that they're 4K and they're 14-bit video. They're not compressed at all. You know, this isn't 4K at 30 hertz. This is 4K completely uncompressed. Um, actually beyond even what uh, really HDMI 2.0 claims to be. Uh, so with that, we're going to start the show, and uh, I'll take any questions at the end.